we're here in Minneapolis. We're at Goodwill. We're really excited and we're going to hit, I think, three or four Goodwills tonight on our way to our hotel. And this is going to be quite the adventure. We're very excited. We're headed to Fargo, North Dakota next. Kelly reached out to me a year ago and invited me to come and check out her junk market here in Fargo. And of course, we instantly became good friends. We've had a couple phone calls, but this was the first time finally meeting in person. If you followed me for a while, you know I'm up for an adventure and it doesn't matter where it is. We were so excited to come to Fargo. So here we are today at the Fargo junk market and we are so excited to not only meet the wonderful people in this town, but to see what kind of treasures we can find here at the market today. You guys, we are finally here in Fargo at the junk market and we just met Kelly and she is just as wonderful as we knew she would be. Everyone is. Yeah, everyone's been so <laughs> wonderful. We're really excited to get to know the vendors today. They've been working on their spaces for three days. So we are gonna go check out all of their hard work and hopefully find some great treasures. You guys, Kelly is so cute. Look, she set a little spot up for us to chat with people. And she even put this little fence in front so that the husbands wouldn't take rests here while their wives were out shopping. <laughs> She knows her shoppers well. That's gonna be goes. so fun. So later on today, once the market opens up, we're gonna be hanging out with everybody, getting to know everybody here. And we got snacks over in the corner. Right now we're gonna just go meet some of the vendors. The Fargo Junk Market is this perfect mix of handmade items from local vendors and artisans, mixed with amazing homemade food, and of course, vintage. There's vintage from pretty much every different era here. So we are really hoping that we are gonna be able to find some 1960s and 70s pieces at really good prices. I have been to bigger markets than this. I have been to smaller markets than this, but this was probably one of the funnest events that I've ever been to, and it's because of the people. Finding amazing deals and cool vintage is always good, but the best part about traveling to me, and the reason I'm so passionate about it, is that we get to meet the wonderful people in our country and around the world who all share in the same passion with us. Thirty minutes and the doors are opening. Oh my goodness! Ooh, I like, I like this person. Me too. So much earthiness. Oh, those but are beautiful. These and that. Yes, to all of it. I like the ram oh, right these there. Are and the hand. My Coffee mugs. Those are so me. Six dollars. The pricing is great. Oh look, those little bags. Those are cute. Everything's cute. This is I a like great space. Person. We're coming back here.
That's so good. That's such a perfect fall painting. It's gorgeous. The colors in it, $29. It's beautiful. Where are we? I love these too. You have a thing for candle holders. Right I, now. I definitely do. Look at the little stone horsey. Little baby horse. That's cute. This is really beautiful too. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was a penguin ice bucket. No, it's better. <laughs> it's just a pumpkin. It's much, much better. Hi there. Hi. Hi. That what? Sounds very interesting. Pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Butter pecan. I can't put uh -huh. on chocolate. Raspberry like, chocolate truffle. Rocky road. Rocky road. We're bringing some snacks back to the Airbnb tonight. Do you make all these yourself? Yes, we've been in business over 10 years. I have license for commercial kitchen. Okay. Out in Minnesota. That's where my home is. That's so. where you're from? Yeah. Oh, so, uh, I probably so do a lot more, of but <laughs> I do a lot of shows. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to be coming back to get some for sure. These kind of markets are so fun because they hit all of your senses. As soon as we walked into this venue, it smelled immediately like fall. We later found out that it was actually the roasted nuts that smelled so good. So you have it smelling like grandma's house in the fall. You've got the fun music, you've got the wonderful people of Fargo, and then of course you've got the great vintage. We heard some hollering over here. I think it was the five minute dance. Yes, for sure. Confetti? <laughs> yeah, confetti. Like a wedding, a yes. Wedding yes, or rice. Why am I so excited for this market right now? I feel like we worked months on this market. but <laughs> We just got here a half hour ago. We're very excited. There's good energy here in North Dakota. It's my pride and joy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that this would be a good one for 40. It's real wool. <laughs> we have swirls. So I'm gonna get all three of these. Oh, okay. Found some goodies already. Woo! I'm gonna get this basket. I love this basket. I mean, there's just that, but that's we could just oil them. Oh, they're gorgeous yeah. with the striping. Let's get them. Twenty dollars for the pair. Let's do it. Oh, these are little placemats. Look at those. These are really nice. These are still here. I think I'm gonna get these. It's twelve dollars for the tall vase and eight, so twenty dollars for the pair. Yeah, let's get those. We might have to do this Matisse book.
Jen makes amazing little ceramics. We had to get one of the Fargo ones to take home as a souvenir. Jenny Sue Ceramics can even do custom orders. So if you want to check out her stuff, you can find her at JennySueArt.com and her Instagram handle is JennySueArt. Oh, she's, she's got red hair. hair. Settled on the little Fargo sweater. So we're going to get these for little Christmas ornaments. I primarily focus on buying vintage, but as someone who was once a maker in my early days of entrepreneurship, I have such an appreciation for handmade items because I know how much work it takes to put into that. However, I don't think that I have ever completed a project in my lifetime that would take as long as it probably takes to make one of these pairs of earrings. All of these are completely handmade and one of a kind, and I was so excited to find the perfect pair of dramatic earrings that were nice and lightweight. They are so beautiful, and you're gonna probably be seeing me wear these in a lot of episodes down the road. And the best part is Christina sells on Etsy, so if you guys are interested in purchasing a piece from her and supporting her small business, you can check her out on Etsy. I will put the link in the description below, and you can follow her on Facebook and Instagram too. Oh, there we go. That's it. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Those? Those are them. Those are them. Oh, Those are them. Yeah. I was just like, I have a feeling it's going to be like, I'm going to see them and go, that's it. <laughs> Those are the ones. sneaking in through the back exit and we feel very official but the only reason we're here is because the maps took us the wrong way they took us in the back <laughs> way so we felt very special like we got special yeah we're sneaking in i'm her i'm her bodyguard i already put stuff in the car we're going back in <laughs> Well, we did it. We, we closed, closed down the down. Fargo John Market. <laughs> what a day. This has been an absolute blast. We just met some of the best people ever. So if you are one of the people we just met, we, we love, love you. you. <laughs> we had so much fun. Seriously, like our souls and our hearts were so happy. So huge thank you to everybody and a huge thank you to Kelly and Tim for inviting us. We are so glad that we came. I'm not showing you the whole living room because I'm currently working on a makeover in here. We've moved around a bunch of furniture and got a new couch, which you're not going to see, but we're sitting on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to show you all of our finds from the Fargo Junk Market. Here they are. <laughs> I think we're both pretty excited about a few of these things. Yeah. Um, oh, show them the little Christmas ornament. We actually each got these. We got a little Fargo sweater and so cute. we don't watch the TV show, but apparently it's a reference not to the movie Fargo, but there's a TV show. Oh, there's a TV show? Yeah, that's oh. what she told me. But they're handmade pottery yeah. and they're just really cute. 
we're gonna put them on our Christmas trees. And then these. Yes, these I'm super excited about. Look at how beautiful they are. And they're really, really lightweight. So that's exciting because I like dramatic earrings, but you don't want them too heavy. They hurt your ears. Maya got to discover that I have an obsession for two things, what? Candlesticks and baskets. <laughs> well, and we woven things. Yeah. And Maya got these really cool bookends. Yeah. Those are fun. The guy said that they look like boot heels <laughs> and I can't unsee it now, but they're very Once cute. you see it, we'll have to put that in the description. <laughs> are you gonna sell them? Yeah. You're gonna keep them? Yeah, so. You're gonna sell them? Yeah, so a lot of this stuff is to sell, a lot of it's to keep, it just depends. I think I'm actually gonna keep both of those candle holder pairs for a while for staging and then I might let go of some of the baskets. Oh, and we got this beautiful candle holder back here, but I already have one that I got in Nebraska that's identical, so I'll let go of that piece. So there you go, Fargo Junk Market. And at the very end of this Midwest series, we're gonna do some decorating with all of these vines, so stay tuned to the very end for that. So our next one, uh, we're doing a one-day Christmas event on December 3rd, and then we are also doing one in March on the 25th, which in North Dakota, Spring Market, is March 25th because it's indoors and we're going to have it be full of plants. Our charity is Hope Blooms, which is they recycle mm. flowers. So people that have funerals and things like that. So if you want to wow. shout out to them, they're great. Shout out to them. Um, That's amazing. But we decided to uh, make a charity at each event so that it's more than just a shopping experience that we're, we give them a free booth, obviously give them some exposure. But again, in the spring, uh, we're going to just fill this place with green. Oh, it's gonna I be love beautiful. it. Green, we need to green, come back. Plants, flowers, flowers everywhere. We want to be here in March. What was yes. the day? March what? March 25th. March okay. 25th. So December 3rd and March 25th. Okay. Flowers everywhere. Spring in Fargo. That's mm -hmm. right. When we need it the most. Yeah, yes. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. So, well, thank you so much. So this has been so glad. much fun. This was a blast. So fun. Woo! All right. We'll see all of you guys in the next episode soon. One last final thank you to Kelly and Tim for inviting us to your amazing market and to every one of you who made the drive to come and say hi to Maya and I. We had so much fun meeting all of you and shout out to the Canadians who drove 12 hours to come to the Fargo Junk Market. You ladies are amazing. It was an absolute blast and I hope to do another one of these meetups soon.